This video will cover the basics of using the InspectorRite app for your vehicle inspections. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on the InspectorRite app to open the program. So this takes us to the first InspectorRite screen. Let's go ahead and tap on Start New Inspection so that way we can start a new inspection report. We're now looking at the Choose Template screen. With InspectorRite, you can set up your own checklists and have as many different ones as you want for your inspections. For this video, we're going to work with the basic vehicle template, so let's go ahead and tap on it. We're now ready to start filling out information. As you can see, the inspection date's already filled out, and so now we want to give the inspection a name. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this my first inspection. Now that our name's typed in, let's go ahead and enter the VIN for the vehicle. Once the VIN is entered, we can tap on Look Up VIN, so that way the program automatically decodes the VIN for us, and a lot of the information about the vehicle gets populated. As we can see, the year, the make, and the model all came in, so we're inspecting a 2008 Chevy Impala, so let's go ahead and tap on Continue. We're now looking at the main inspector at screen. Here we can switch between the different views by tapping on the different icons on the view bar. On iPhones and iPads, like we're showing here, the bar is at the bottom, but if you're using an Android phone or an Android tablet, you would see the bar at the top. The view we're on right now is the Vehicle Details view, where we can have, have all the basic information about the vehicle we're inspecting. Most of the information here has already been filled out when the VIN was decoded, but let's go ahead and fill out the rest. And so right off the bat, we can see that we still need to fill out mileage. So we'll tap on that, and we'll just type in 120,000. Next, we're going to scroll down just by taking our finger and swiping, and we'll see what else we have. Here for the transmission, we'll go ahead and select automatic. After that, we have client name. And so let's say that we're actually doing this inspection for a client, and we'll say that our client name is John Smith. So we'll go ahead and tap that right in. And that brings us to interior color. We'll say the interior color is gray. And so I can swipe through the list here. Or, if I just tap in the box, I can start to type, and as I type, it'll narrow the selections down to the ones that fit. And so we'll say it's gray, and we'll do the same thing with the exterior color. We'll say it's silver, and so we'll tap on silver. So at this point, we filled out all the basic information about this inspection, so now we can tap on Enter Inspection Data, and this is where we're going to get to the actual checklist portion of what we're inspecting. We're now looking at our inspection points, so let's get started. Filling out information here is very easy, as on the left we have our different ratings. You can see what the ratings stand for here at the top. So G is for good, F is for fair, and P is for poor, and these are completely customizable by you. And then in the middle we have the actual inspection checklist item, and then on the right we have a spot where we can enter our notes. So let's go ahead and fill out the first couple lines. So we're going to say the hood's in good shape, so we're going to mark this G for good. The front, also in good shape, so mark that G as well. But let's say that the front bumper has some scratches on it and there's a dent. And so we're actually going to mark this as poor. So we'll tap on the P for poor. And you'll see that when we do this, it automatically pulls up a screen where we can enter our notes for the line. And so on this screen, we want to talk about what's going on. And we have a list of kind of some of the common items you may find. And you can actually edit that list as well. But all you have to do is you can find the one you want and you simply tap on it. Once you tap on it, it adds that note right in and you're ready to go. And so to go back, we can tap on the back button and it takes us back to our inspection checklist. So the fenders are good, so we'll mark these as good. And so are the doors. The roof has a couple scratches on it, so we're going to mark this as fair. And since there are a couple scratches, we do want to make a note of that. So we'll come over here to our notes. We'll simply tap on that. And just like we saw before, we could always select something from the drop down list, or if you want to just enter something in that's not already part of the list, simply tap in the box and then type it in. So we're just going to go ahead and type in that there's several light scratches. Now that our note's entered in, again, we can just tap on back and just keep working our way through. That's all there is to filling out information. Let's go ahead and skip ahead a little. Okay, so we've come to the condition of wheels line, and we have an issue with the right front hubcap being broken. So let's go ahead, we're going to mark this as poor, and this will take us right to our note screen. 
And so here we can add a note. So we'll simply just select a note from the list. We can also add in pictures. And so at the top we have two icons here. The first one is of a camera. And if we tap on this one, this will actually pull up our device's built-in camera, allow us to snap a picture, and that picture gets added right to this line. The second icon is of a picture. So this will pull up your camera or your gallery to where you can add in any picture you want to this report that has already been taken, that's already on your device. Let's go ahead and add in a picture using each method. And so first, we're gonna add in one by tapping on a camera. And so what this will do is it brings up our camera and we'll take our picture. Once we take the picture, we have the option to replace it with another picture, take an additional picture, or we can tap on finished if that's the only picture we want to take for the line. So this is the only picture we want to take for this line. So we'll go ahead and we're going to tap on finished. And this will take us back to the note screen. And here at the top, you can see the picture we just added in. If we tap on the picture, we are taken to the view picture screen. And on this screen, we can see a larger version of the picture we just took and can easily add markups to the picture. And so for the markups, we can add arrows, circles, squares, and text. We also have 16 different colors to choose from, which I can get to by simply swiping across. And so to add a markup, all you have to do is select what you want to add in, and then the color, and then draw them on the picture. And so let's go ahead and draw, we'll start with a square, and we'll make it green, and let's draw this on it. So let's draw it with our finger. Now let's add in two red arrows. And finally, we'll add a little bit of text. And with the text, you just take your finger and you can move it to where you want. And maybe we'll choose a different color. That stands out a little bit more. Once you get the markups that you want, you simply tap on the Edit Note button to take you back to this note screen. Let's add in one more picture by tapping on the camera icon. Here, we'll see the pictures on our device. We'll go to the ones we want and we'll simply add, select the picture that we want to add in. Again, we could replace the picture. We could take it, add an additional one, or if you're good, we'll tap on finished. This is the one we want. We'll tap on finished and we've now added two pictures to our line. Let's go ahead and tap on back and go to our inspection list. That's all there is to filling out information. Let's go ahead and fill out the rest of the items. Now that it's all filled out, let's tap on our next view, which is our picture view. Here you can see all the picture we've already added into the report. You also have a spot where you can add a picture for the cover page, add in a picture for each view of the car, or add in general pictures that you want to show up in a general picture section of the report. And so you can add in pictures of each view by simply tapping on the camera icon associated with the view, and then that'll bring up your camera, and then you can take your picture. To add in general pictures, you can either tap on your camera to take new pictures or tap on the picture icon to find a picture that you've already taken that you want to add in. We'll quickly add in a few more pictures. So at this point, we've added all the information we need to, added in our pictures, and now we're ready to finalize the report so we can tap on the check mark to go to the final view. This view gives us an overall summary of the report. We'll see how many inspection points were marked with each of the ratings and below that, there's an area that will give you notifications in case you miss something. Since the inspection is complete, we'll go ahead and tap on Inspection Complete, and we're ready to create a PDF of the report. To do this, we'll tap on the drop down arrow on the PDF button, and here we can decide if we want a standard report or a compact report. We're going to go ahead and stick with the standard report, so we'll tap on that. And when we do this, it'll create the PDF and then send yourself an email with the PDF of the report attached. And from there, you can forward it to wherever it needs to go, print it, and then store it as required. It also gets uploaded to your cloud account for long-term storage where you can access it, um, pull it up, review it, and then even recreate the PDF if needed at a future time. So let's go ahead and pull up our cloud account and go to the inspections area. So we're now looking at the inspector ad portal. And if we go down here with our inspections, you'll see here's the inspection we just did, my first inspection. And if we go over here to the right, we can see our options, including the option to view it. And so we'll simply tap on that. And this is going to pull up the PDF we just created. 
And of course you have different settings to where you can add a cover page, you can actually have your logo show up here um, and change some of the colors. Um, but this is a look at the report. It starts off with the inspection information and it just goes through section by section what we filled out. There we can see our pictures with the markups. And if we scroll down to the end, we'll see all the pictures we added in. As well as we'll get a summary of everything we marked as poor. The summary is great because it just puts everything that was marked as an issue has that in one section. This concludes the basics of using the Inspector Ride app video.